EU Vice President Mara Sefcovic and the Director General Dominique Ristori, as well as the Renewables Grid Initiative CEO Antonella Battalini, who has done so much work to bring us all together today. And I just want you to know how really, really sorry I am. I can't be there with you. Because you hear statements like that from people that can't make it to initiatives like what you're doing today all the time. But I'm telling you the truth. I want to be with the group of people who are going to bring about real change in this world about how we deal with the terrible threat of climate change. If people don't understand what is happening in this world and the great threat to the very survival of the human race, not to mention what we've done to the animals and birds and every other species on this planet that we are in the process of killing right this minute. And the only way, the only way that we're going to get on top of this is by having the people that run the grid take control over how the pricing and how we move which molecules, which uh, <clears throat> not just molecules of gas, but what we do with all of our uh, electricity, all of our, the, the oil, all of our fossil fuels, and how we begin to decrease our dependence on fossil fuels and begin to increase our dependence on renewables. It's a very simple proposition. But people get very angry when they feel that there's a big energy initiative coming to their part of the uh, country and they push back and they say, there's nothing in it for me. Somebody else is getting all those benefits and making a lot of money off of this and they're making a lot of money off of me and all I'm going to get is a bigger bill. And so they get angry. And what we did was we created a nonprofit energy company where we said 100%, every single dime that we make will ultimately go back to helping the poor, helping people who struggle every day to be able to put a little food on the table, to get a good job, to have some decency in their life. And so I'm here, well, I'm here in Boston, but I am with you today in spirit to ask you to consider listening to Antonella and to listening to my good friend, Pete Smith, who I've worked with for 15 or 20 years, who understands this fight and understands this battle and understands what we have done in the United States to bring about huge change by bringing the biggest new power lines that are built, being built in the United States are being built by Citizens Energy because the people in these communities know that when I speak to them, that they can count on the fact that the truth is being told and that we will put thousands and thousands of low-income people to be able to pay their bills and actually make money on their energy systems. That's what we do. We come in, we help you, we bring about really big changes in how transmission and generation take place and we use that change to help a lot of people who would normally be fighting us and instead they become our ally and they become people that we count on to fight for the changes we're trying to accomplish versus fighting against them. That's the simple truth and I so much wish I was with you and I look forward to being with you in the future 
so that we can plan together how we can work to bring about the changes that I think and I know that you believe are necessary to keep our world safe for the people of our countries, both in the United States and around the world. Thank you all very much and I wish you the best.